Well, hello guys, welcome back. I think Pepper's jumping up and down in excitement. I finally got it. I've been trying all day and couldn't figure out this video. And you know, the sermon yesterday was about sharing the joy that you find around you. Stopping, which I'm still getting, I'm getting like, stop, absolutely stop, and finding the joy around you truly embracing it and then sharing it with other people and the most joyful thing i've been doing is you know i worked with vipper last night and i work with them today and we worked on realizing that if there are things in our lives that are taking our joy away and we don't have to be associated with them we don't have to and that's that's kind of sounds common sense but here in the west especially you know the news is my thing i don't the news in 2020 no if if it's upsetting you walk away there's probably really no actual factual information at this point because a lot of the media has become purely sensational and purely waving numbers at you to frighten you boogity boogity and to walk away to you know go to a site that you trust to keep you informed that's fine you don't have to consume it in gobs. It used to be that the news was so bland, tempered, tepid, and boring. You could have it on all day, and it was just boring as toast, right? Well, now even the stations that were like that back in my day have people on that scream into the microphone like they're running some kind of shock jock radio show. And it's like, why you're you're acting immature i've been watching this one channel and i won't watch it anymore and i thought half these people act like they do heavy duty drugs before they go on the air what's wrong with them the first couple times they they did it i was like oh it's got to be you know covid covid's got everybody loopy they're crazy you wouldn't consider their conduct professional by youtube standards and we have certain brothers on this platform that make everybody look bad so if you're below the youtube standard yeah we need to kick some of the news media off so we start looking a little better <laughs> i can laughter and cheering becker and after we did that and we worked on refunding our joy you can do it fairly easily just stop listening to the people that are running around and screaming um look he's reminding me giving me a poke giving me a poke one time my family and i we were on this boat ride. I don't even know where we were. And the thing was, it was kind of like a kiddie ride for adults is the best way I can think of it. This particular lake was, you could have been up to your knees the whole entire lake. I don't know, can't remember if it was man-made or what it was, but it was kind of like that. There's no way you could get hurt in this lake, but they had these like little pontoon boats with like gondola top on them and you get in them and you could go on the lake. Well, we're we're on there and I can't remember if they had a swear life vest or something, which was a joke. Cause like I said, you could stand up. <laughs> like a little kid could have stood up in this water and been fine. And you know how if you're on the waves, you move and everything. And we splashed up and came down and this woman starts screaming, we're all going to die. We're all going to die. And my father and I looked at each other and laughed. We weren't trying to laugh at her, but there was no possible way, unless you got knocked in the head as you fell out of the boat, that you could have possibly drowned. All she had to do was stand up. Um, and, you know, it, it might seem mean to, you know, talk about laughing at her, but it was just a natural reaction because there was no way we could die. I I guess if the boat flipped over and explode, exploded and caught on fire, but that was highly unlikely. We couldn't drown, you know? It wasn't deep enough. It, like, came up to your knees, if that. So, you know, she could have sat up and been fine, let alone stand up. And the thing was, she was focused on her fear. She was afraid of the water. She was terrified of the water to the point where water that was really of no danger to her as long as she sat up or didn't bang her head on the way out of the boat, she'd have been fine. But she was so focused on that fear, she couldn't see it, you know. Everybody else is enjoying it and kind of giggling because, you know, the the skipper is doing all these kind of crazy donuts and everything because you were totally safe. And he was saying, you know, if any of you ever get behind the wheel, I don't want you doing this on actual open water, but this is fun. Woo! And he, you know, going all these, she didn't like it. 
But it, it was a great amount of fun, you know. And she was missing out on the fun because she was so worried about, you know, and I'm not trying to laugh at her, but she was worried about something that couldn't possibly hurt her, you know. And we can do that with the news media. We can let world events or supposed world events <laughs> kind of freak us out. And I'm not saying the news media is fake. I'm not backing up orange people. I am saying that I did do my due diligent research today. And the impulse today is to frighten you into viewing. Long story short. And so fact checking is kind of sort of done, but not always. It's honestly about the quality of having your local gossip hotline call you and give you the news. It's honestly at that quality, if that. And everybody speculates and nobody has all the facts and, you know... I'm sure if you've ever heard a rumor about yourself and thought, how the hell did that one start? You you know about how factual a lot of the news media is today. But, you know, we're working on finding our joy and not focusing on the things that frighten us. Like that poor woman that was focused on something that couldn't have even happened to her. She was certain it was going to happen because she was so terrified of water. You shouldn't have somebody that's hydrophobic get on a boat in the first place. So whoever did that to her is rather me. But, you know, you shouldn't focus on the news or anything else if it's truly terrifying you. I know I have a deathly fear of planes. Guess what? I'm never getting on one of those damn things. I don't care if there's a zombie apocalypse. I'm not getting on one of those damn things. You know, problem solved. I'm not getting on one. Um, Anything else, you know, if you're afraid of something and you can reasonably avoid it, do it. Great. I'm not going on real travel. One, I don't have the money, but... To, yeah, kind of with everything that's going on in the world, I'm not doing it. Problem solved. So, usually it's a common sense thing. And it's really not limiting you. I have never once been limited on the fact that I won't get on a plane, I promise you. I've never missed out on anything. I've never not gone anywhere. It's, um, it's just one of those things I have. Where this lady really wouldn't have missed out on anything if she wouldn't have gone on the water. Because she was absolutely miserable. And so, too, if you need to cut down or eliminate your media or change your news source, you're not going to miss anything there either. Um, we all have different fears. Maybe you have relationship fears or maybe you have other, you know, things that you're afraid of. Work with the gods on it. Maybe you don't want to work with Fepar, work with Loki on it. Loki's very good at dealing with fear, too. And I'm getting, yeah, back here. So, you know, we wanted to bring you something more uplifted, and I couldn't figure out what was going wrong today. And I, sh I have told you guys before, and I forget my own advice, I should never, ever, ever watch the news before I try to make a video. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.